Hey, Chris Matthew here from Skynet, skynet.im, the machine-to-machine -machine instant messaging network for the Internet of Things. I wanted to give you a quick update on the new website I uh, deployed today. Uh, as you can see, it looks quite a bit more stealthy, more Skynet legit. But I thought it was important to cover all of the, uh, the aspects of Skynet. Um, we, we talk a lot about the uh, multi-protocol messaging uh, technology. Um, MQTT, REST, you know, HTTP, and uh, WebSockets, and the API, but I don't think we talk enough about the device directory. Uh, this is where every uh, device is stored uh, upon registration, and it's also uh, queryable. So if you want to look for, you know, all of your devices that match a certain criteria, you know, it will return a, a, an array of UUIDs. Um, which then you can message, you know, a whole array or a single device or all devices on the Skynet uh, platform. Um, I think this is also important to point out the device security. So um, every single device that registers with Skynet gets a 36 character uh, UUID, a valid UUID and a secret token, which act as the device's credentials. So I wanted to call that to your attention. And of course, for developers, the NPM module uh, requires Skynet and uh, the JavaScript uh, scanet.js file that we have uh, that really enables browser-based uh, communications with Skynet and mobile uh, communications with Skynet. Um, and then of course, uh, you know, I just want to make sure everyone knows uh, we also support PubSub. So the simple ability to uh, uh, subscribe to devices and uh, publish messages and um, listen for those messages on particular devices. But the super cool new feature is this demo. I thought it was important to uh, uh, show people, uh, you know, what what uh, you know, subscribing to a device uh, looks like and feels like. I've seen a couple of uh, uh, of IoT like uh, demos come up where they're just doing basic pub sub, which makes it really easy um, to uh, send send uh, messages. Uh, like WebSocket messages up to the cloud and then just listen to a particular uh, channel or topic. But with Skynet, it's a little bit more uh, uh, intense because you need to know the UUID and the token. Uh, you can't just listen to a channel. So we got uh, our first uh, demo to simulate what this does. So if you click on the demo here, it's now registering a virtual device with Skynet. There's our UUID and our token that's been assigned. And then now there's a demo link. And this demo link, uh, as you can also tell, has the UUID slash uh, token in it because it wants to uh, subscribe to listen uh, to, to uh, sensor data. And to simulate uh, sensor data, we basically just took the uh, X and Y coordinates of the mouse and uh, we're, we're streaming that in real time uh, over our secure pub sub channels uh, to, to the device. So what does this look like? Well, let's click that. And now we get this, uh, this, this, we're going to pop this out uh, in its own window. And we'll put these windows uh, side by side so you can kind of see a little bit better what they look like. There, so now it's all in real time. As we move around on the, um, the uh, Skynet.im site, it's feeding um, XY coordinates as sensor data live uh, to uh, uh, the, the, the sensor reader, the, the subscriber of the device. So uh, pretty cool. Play around with it. it. It really is that easy. View the source code on these pages and you'll see um, how it dynamically uh, connects, uh, registers uh, uh, and requests a, a dynamic UUID and token for that session. And then uh, you can see how you can uh, emit messages and uh, receive messages uh, all via secure channels on uh, the Skynet network.